Hi, everybody. We are here today with five internet digital entrepreneurs. And um, hello. We, we were just wondering, um, we, we are on a path since a while, and we were talking with each other. We all have different reasons why we started all this. Uh, because we're all different people with different journeys. And uh, so that's why today we wanted to delve in a little bit what, what brought us to becoming a digital entrepreneur. And uh, the, the question starts, uh, there are two questions that we want to raise with all five people here today. And the first question is, what is the biggest step or what is the reason why you became a digital entrepreneur? And to finish off, perhaps he can also point out what, what it has brought him so far on his journey, what his experiences are in, and what he has gained so far. What well, was that? That was, um, it's a difficult question, I think, for me. It, it, it wasn't like a moment because it's like a process, right? So uh, when Christopher, Christopher was talking, I remember that I used to be very afraid, really, right? And I was, uh, I used to be very scared, and I used to be not anxious, but not knowing who I was, right? So it started with that, I think. Uh, I always try to, you know, be somebody, as everybody does, just by playing that somebody, not realizing what, who I really was. So my journey started when I started noticing that people were acting in a certain way towards me and they couldn't somehow catch my intentions really. So while I was trying to help of trying to say something, people, I, I had this feeling, maybe they weren't doing that, but I was having this feeling that I had to, you know, run harder than everybody. Um, do very much my best to be the friend. Um, others could step into the house and say, okay, I'm here. And I was like, oh, I'm here, but what am I doing here, right? So if you take Richard of a couple of years ago, uh, I, was, I was really very scared to say what I really think to others and to, to be myself. So I started on a, a journey of self-inquiry which brought me to a lot of uh, reading, a lot of books of, uh, from Domedia Ruiz, uh, Ruiz uh, Eckhart Tolle to Rupert Spira, Ramana Manashi. So I started really get interested into the philosophy of how to get closer to what you really are and why you are here. So um, by doing so, um, Slowly, I started to change because I started feeling happiness inside myself. And I started to realize that I'm not, you know, I'm not dependent of the, the thoughts of someone else about me to be. Because at first, at my, at my work, I was always trying to, you know, be that guy to get that pet on the shoulders. Like, hey, you did it very well, Richard. So I couldn't find it in myself. And after reading those books and watching a lot of videos and paying for a lot of training, I started believing in what I really am. So uh, right now I realize that I, that I am able to do anything that I want with my life. So if I want to go left, I just go left and I step in a step and I take it, right? Because I know now that I am the the one who makes my own life and I'm the really the director and the one in control of my own life. I think that on that part, um, somehow I get into contact with SFM on that journey and it, it reinforced my belief in that I am more than I, I am more than I think that I am, right? And by stepping to the community of uh, SFM, not, not only just stepping inside, but having those conversations with people who are truly doing the same thing that I was doing. So if you, if you have a talk to someone in SFM, 
um, at first I thought a seven figure mentor, it's about money. It's not about money. It's about your mindset. It's about changing your life. It's about going inside and search for who you truly are in life and realizing that you are able to change and do whatever you want with this life that's given to you for free, right? So instead of waiting for someone to tell me what to do, I know now what I should do. And my heart is telling me every day what I should do. And that's what I'm doing. So the first thing that I'm, well, the last thing that I'm doing right now, really right now in my life is just, I won't say quitting my job, but I would say I'm planning to um, build my own company with uh, with eight of SFM and all the things that I'm learning. So I'm, I'm in the middle of, um, um, you know, a, a, a arrangement with my company to work for two days for them and three days for myself. Uh, if you ask the Richard of a couple of years ago, he would be terrified just to having to leave the, the, the company. So that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, in May, half May, when I come back from my holidays, I will be the one who will be really responsible for filling three days of my, of my working week with my, own, uh, with my own clients, right? So, and I feel ready for that. So I'm not afraid, I'm not feeling any doubt somehow. And people will come to me and say, do you have already uh, clients? Have you already made some you know, arrangements? No, I don't because I just, I will step to them and just tell them what I can and I will, you know, it's, it's like feeling inside you that you're ready to be a really an entrepreneur and just step to it and just doing it. Well, that's, that's the feeling that I'm having right now. So yeah, the biggest, uh, the biggest step was to, to be here right now and speak to you guys and being able to say these words without feeling fear in myself any doubt that I can do it. That's my biggest. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. And perhaps to close off again, what would it have cost you? Imagine now you would not have done this. What would have cost you this in your life? Well, that's, that's, uh, um, I think, well, it's, it's hypothetic, right? So, um, I would have, uh, Christoph said something like being the best version of yourself and being, and I, I heard myself saying, being the best version, version of yourself by helping others to be the best version of themselves, right? So maybe that would be a, the big pity if I wouldn't be at this moment right here feeling that I can do that. I can help others, right? So. That would be the shame, I think. Great. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank, Thank you. you.